Why do you feel so strongly about Matt Rule? What do you know about Matt Rule? How many college coaches have made it big? Don't you think the Giants need a sure thing here? Uh, so you're McCarthy guys, right? I am. Yeah, I'm not opposed to McCarthy. I mean, he's won. Now, grant that he's been given the, the you know two of the best quarterbacks in the history of football, and he's he's won one time. But I'm not opposed to McCarthy. I just think the Giants, and we've been through this a million times. They need a CEO. They need a leader. Matt Rule exemplifies that. He went to Temple, which is not even a real football program, and they beat Penn State first time since 1941. He leaves there. He goes to Baylor. They're one and eleven. Art Bryles is the joke of of college football, and he leads them into a, a, an overtime away from being in the college football playoff this year. This guy is a winner. He actually... So wait, wait a minute. He has won two games against ranked teams in his seven years as a head coach in college. Two. But he, won. he was at Temple, Michael. Okay. And he took, he took over a program in, in Baylor that was almost on the death penalty. They were the laughing stock of but college football. But this guy football. has no NFL experience other than one year under Tom Coughlin. One. Where, uh, where's his you, NFL uh, experience? You like Tom Coughlin, yes? Yes. Okay, what does Tom Coughlin say about him? Loves him. What do the Maris say about him? Love him. Well, what is, do, that, do you really want the Maris? That's a problem. Why is that a problem? Because it seems like when they've done it the Giants way recently, they've gotten it wrong. Shermer was like the giant way. That was the guy. Or, or McAdoo. I, I'm, a, I'm a little down on John Mara, okay, right now. I don't now blame you. I think everybody making. should be. So when I'm hearing that he's in love with somebody or this is the perfect pick for the giant way, that makes me want to steer in a different direction. That's why, you know, Steve Tisch getting involved to me is a good thing. Maybe a little breath of fresh air. But here. it's got to get you nervous, Don. Now you, now you have two guys who may not hey, know a ton about I, football listen, running things. I understand that. But I'm not saying that Steve Tisch knows exactly what he's doing, but I think he is that voice of, hey guys, we've tried it the Giants way, the flagship franchise way, you know, the winning way. Well, it hasn't worked right now. And listen, I'm a John Mara fan. I like him. I personally like him. Okay? I, I grew up a fan of this team. All right? But since Wellington passed away and Ernie acorsi has gone, you know, when John hasn't made the best decisions, he's followed his heart and his heart has betrayed him multiple times here. So when I hear that it, it, it's the perfect mar for, marriage for John Merritt, I, that, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Look, I, I, you could be right. I don't have all the answers. All I'm saying is from everything that we've read about Rule, from people I've spoken to, Paul Feinbaum, who I respect a lot, says he's going to be a great NFL coach. The Jets were desperate for him last year. He seems like the right hire. Now, I have no issue with Mike McCarthy. If the Giants hire Mike McCarthy, I'm fine with that. If they hire Jason Garrett, then I'm going to have a major problem. But Rule or McCarthy, I'm fine with either of those guys. Now, I would prefer Rule. Your partner on the show says they should stop interviewing people right now and just hire Mike McCarthy. How do you feel about the fact that Rule said, well, I'm going to spend a week in Cabo? Well, so who cares? So what? He's in demand. He said no to the Browns. Uh, Ralph Vacchiano had a report that said the only job he would even consider taking at this point to leave Baylor for is the Giants. So the guy just finished a, a grueling season. He's going on vacation, and when, the, and when he comes back, he'll talk to the Giants. But it doesn't seem like there's a sense of urgency to get this job. Well, I, I disagree. I mean, he's, the, the Browns came after him. He said, no way. He says no to any other team. The only job he even would leave Baylor for is the Giants. He, he needs a respite. He needs a break. And may, who knows? Maybe they'll fly yeah, down to Cabo, that, wherever he is, and that talk doesn't, to him. That doesn't bother me as much as it bothers Michael. They've just, they're just they 0 for their last two. All right? Miserably 0 for oh, their last yeah, two. Completely like Joaquin and Duhar swinging strikeouts. You know, like, I have no clue what they're doing. So you now want to take a chance? He's an unknown commodity. I don't care what you did in college. It's what you can do in the NFL. Can you make that but adjustment? But you don't know, Don. I, but you don't can, know. But at can, least I got, a, I, I got a guy in Mike McCarthy. You could say, well, he had Favre and he had uh, Rogers. Uh, Rogers. But, you know, you can't. You don't, you don't think he might have had something to do with the development? I think he's a good Aaron coach. Rogers? I'm not he went to the playoffs to in nine of 13 years and won a Super Bowl. I so at least there's it. more of a known commodity there. It, it, the, the, what is it? 80% of the time, maybe more. The, the jump from college to the pros is not a good one. And, and Outside Dave, of Jimmy Johnson and maybe Harbaugh, where's all the success yeah, stories? You're, you're a football savant. Where's the college coach that became a good NFL coach? Other, well, I other think than you Jimmy. have a list of 50 guys. I think David Shaw would be a good good college Again, coach going to the would, NFL That would be well. a crapshoot, too. But, I mean, Lou Holtz couldn't even last a season. Steve Spurrier was a joke. Nick Saban lasted two years with the Dolphins. Great college coaches couldn't Great do it. Great college coach. Nick, Sa Nick, Saban, but Nick Saban also, if they would have gotten Drew Brees, I think it would have been a different feel. But you're right. I mean, these guys have not succeeded. But Lou Holtz, come on. Lou Holtz wasn't going to succeed in the NFL. But, but he was a great college coach. Bill Walsh is pretty good, no? He turned yeah, out good. yeah, that was a good one. Okay, so it, it's not like it's an impossibility. But the, oh, boy, the boy. odds are against it. 
But Bill Walsh went back to Stanford after San Francisco and didn't have the same success. I mean, Bill Walsh established himself in the NFL. I don't think of him as a college guy. But he, he was a college guy. But he was Dennis Stanford, Green, right? Yeah. I but, mean, guys have succeeded in college. But I mean, it's, it's still few and far between. It's not like there's between. 10 a year that are taken from it's, college to the it's, NFL it's and none of them succeed. It's few and far between. I, I think you're getting caught up in the fact that everybody's in love with him because he fits the type in the NFL now. He's 41 years old. And everybody wants that. Nobody wants the old retread coach in the NFL anymore. Everybody wants the young uh, college guy or young assistant. That's what everybody wants now. And I think that's why everybody's in love with him. And he kind of built his numbers up by saying no to an NFL team last year and saying no to the good? Jets. Isn't that he's not he's not willing to jump? He's a guy that's in demand and he understands that he's going to wait till the right job comes along. And he looks at Daniel Jones and looks right, at Barkley so and looks that he's at the patient, Giants. But 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 by the fact that you're patient doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to be able to make the adjustment. And if the Giants were so interested in rule, right, then why did you keep Gettleman? Because you know Rule's going to want to come in and really have a major say. So why didn't the Giants just wipe the slate clean? I don't clean? have the answer for that. I mean, I was, I was, you know, captaining, moving on from Dave Gettleman. I don't think he's done a lot of good here. I think, the, I think almost every move he's made, and even on your show yesterday, he said that Pat Shermer was kind of the impetus for going after Daniel Jones. So I don't honestly, and it's not that I don't think he's a, a nice guy, I don't understand why he's still employed as the Giants general manager today.